I'm Monica from Coffee Science Lab. I've just been recently running a water course here at Wolf Coffee Roasters. Today I would like to show you one of the interesting experiments we did during uh, this class. In this experiment that you could easily repeat at home, we're going to split a mocha mass to brew uh, into five cups. By doing that we will see how the solubility uh, of each flavor compound in coffee affects um, how they extract over time. Okay, we'll start the timer um, as soon as the first drop of water hits the coffee. After the first minute, we will change the cup and continue brewing into the second cup. Uh, after the second minute, we will start going into the third cup, fourth minute into the fourth cup, and then whatever is left, we'll let drip into cup number five. Now we've got our five cups um, split over time. Let's start tasting. So in the first cup, you will find a really concentrated, thick um, solution of uh, a really bitter, salty kind of brew. Some people tell me it tastes like soy sauce. Or uh, today I've heard um, umami. Like, these are all the flavors that would describe what comes out uh, during that first minute. Because salt, and caffeine, which causes the bitterness, uh, are very soluble in water. They will be the ones that come out first um, after the water hits the coffee grounds. On the second cup, you're likely to taste quite a bit of sourness, a lot of acidity. Acid molecules are also very soluble in water. However, their size is slightly larger than that of salts, for example. So we expect them to extract uh, still very fast, but a little bit slower than salts, for example. On the third cup, you're quite likely to taste uh, the sweetness of the coffee. If you think about it, sugars are extremely soluble in water as well. You could dissolve 800 grams of sugar in a liter of boiling water. In this case, of course, we don't have that much sugar. So sugar is very soluble. However, a slightly larger size will make it extract a little bit slower um, than the acid molecules. On the fourth cup, uh, you will find a lot more body and also a bit more mouthfeel uh, due to the oils that also start coming out of this stage. So in the fifth cup, we won't uh, taste that much at all. It's most likely to be quite empty and maybe have a little bit of a papery dry uh, taste to it. That's because by this stage, most flavor compounds have extracted from the coffee and we're just left with a bit of residual material in the last cup. Now you might find that depending on what coffee and what grind size you're using, you might need to tweak these times a little bit. If you find a lot of sourness in your first cup, for example, uh, you might want to change your cup a little bit sooner. This experiment really shows you how theory plays out in practice. If you've done this experiment at home, uh, please feel free to drop your comments below. Thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm.